All right, I'm um, recording. Can everybody see my screen? Yes, sir. Uh, so for this week, um, you know, I'm gonna talk about the progress on the on the harbor operator. Uh, before that, you know, we just a couple of announcements uh, related to releases. There's a if you go and go harbor. Um, There's a 2.1 tech preview out. So, you know, it has all the features that we've been talking about over the last couple of months. Um, online garbage collection and proxy cache, uh, P2P. We added the Sysdig, um, Sysdig Secure as an image scanner through our pluggable interrogation services framework. And we're also able to host um, AI machine learning data models on Harbor. So I'll give this a try. Uh, and we will have a GA around September 3rd uh, if, if everything goes well. So there's going to be an RC this week, and then we will GA next week. All right. So that's, um, yeah, but we can talk about the cluster operator or the har what is the harbor operator. Um, <clears throat> So uh, the background is, you know, we have been working on uh, a harbor operator in addition to, you know, the, the Docker Compose deployment that we have and the Helm chart deployment. So now there's an operator, and you know, this project started when uh, OVH, uh, a, a cloud company in Europe, reached out to us and wanted to work on an operator, um, and so there are actually two operators right now. There's a harbor core operator. Um, which you can find here. It's uh, under Go Harbor. There's a repository called Harbor Operator. Uh, we call this the Harbor Core Operator um, because it doesn't have uh, all the dependent services like database, uh, Redis cache, um, and basically it's just a custom resource that manages Harbor Core, uh, Harbor Job Service, and some of the optional components like. Notary, um, Claire, Char Museum, Trivi. Uh, we, we actually don't have Trivi yet, but we're adding it in the next release. And, you know, this is great if you're just managing your own infrastructure and you're adding Harvard to uh, a pass, you know, where you have Redis and database already deployed somewhere as a service, you know, maybe in the cloud. And then the cluster operator, uh, which is located here, Uh, Harbor cluster operator also under Go Harbor, you know, parallel to, I'm sorry, it's this one right here, also under, under Go Harbor. Um, so that's kind of like our all in one inclusive uh, operator. And, you know, this has, let me go back to the PPT. And this has all the different components. Um, you know, it becomes with everything uh, in the CRD will handle installing all the, the services prior to installing Harbor. So PG SQL, Redix cache, um, storage. And so if we look at the overall architecture, uh, there's a Harbor cluster controller that's essentially managing all the services needed for the registry. And so the Harbor, uh, the cluster operator custom resource, you know, that enc encapsulates the core operator custom resource as well as the, the custom resources for database, for Redis. Uh, Tenon is the storage component leveraging min IO S3. Um, and so for each of these, you know, we're, we're using existing open source operators. If you go in the repo, you can see the exact versions that we're using. And so the, the Harbor cluster uh, at the top is, is doing the, you know, continuous reconciliation to make sure it's running whatever is specified in the CR spec. Um, and you know, if there are problems or there are failures across any of the services, it will take care of redeploying these services. And this Harbor controller here um, is just referring to the core CR um, and it covers ingress and core pods, 
job service pods. Um, and the hardware cluster controller will call the related depend services. Uh, it'll instantiate these first and then inject the related info into the Harper cluster CR through secrets and config maps. And so basically it, it, it'll, it'll start Postgres and it'll start Redis, start storage, and then finally it'll start the Harper registry. Um, so we have a CRD that, that describes the, the Harper cluster CR and we can go through these real quick. Just located here. So um, so yeah, most of this comes from the, the Harbor core operator CRD. So you have the version, which is the version of Harbor, um, the, image, the image version you use. The public URL is the public access point of Harbor. Uh, define the admin password for your admin account. Uh, define certificates. We're using cert manager to do this. Um, you can define the replicas here. Uh, so there's a replica and there's also a job service replica. And this, there's a global replica that you can define. And then you can also increase the number of job service instances you have depending on your workload. Um, declare, declare uh, Trivi, Char Museum, um, and then declare your Redis instance. So you can use an external uh, external cache, like a Redis deployed somewhere else in, in your public cloud, or you can use, um, you can declare as an in class. So you need to define the storage class, the storage size, and essentially that will just invoke the the embedded Redis op operator to create that service based on this config. Um, same thing for for database for PG SQL. Uh, you can use an external DB or you can do it in class. Uh, and the one that the in-class version, you know, will create a highly available storage service using the PG SQL operator that we're consuming. So, um, you know, the core operator 0 0.5 right now is based on Harper 1.10. Um, and as we moved to, um, you know, Harper 2.0, we, we want to sync with the, the 2.0 version. So, the OVH team is already working on doing some refactoring uh, of the CRs um, to, to leverage 2.0. And then the cluster operator will, you know, it'll rebase on the core operator. So it'll support Harbor 2.0 as well. So I wanna thank everyone who worked on this. So we have, you know, maintainers from um, different companies who worked on this from NetEase, from um, three guys from VMware, from uh, Chain Cloud. And obviously, uh, OVH, who reached out to us to, to kick start this whole project. Yeah, this is like a super critical milestone for us, right? It will significantly simplify how Harbor is deployed. It will kind of drive towards a consistent way of deploying Harbor the same way, whether you're on premise, in the public cloud, uh, through some other products. So I think this, you know, is. Uh, tremendous value from this project. So uh, I'm super excited for us to get to the stable support for this. Yep, uh, you know, this is pretty much what I wanna cover, both the roadmap and uh, the implementation is still in flux. We're, we're still making some changes. Um, you know, and obviously because we already have the Docker Compose deployment and the Helm deployment of Harbor, um, this is just something else that we need to maintain. But we have seen some traction in the community um, so I think it's a, it's a good investment. Um, and, you know, I, the OVH guys, the OVH guys aren't on the call, but I really want to thank them for, for reaching out to us and kickstarting this whole project. We've been at it for a while now. Um, it's something we've always wanted to do, but it's good that we finally got around to it. So, um, I anticipate we'll probably have uh, a stable release for the cluster operator sometime by the end of next month. Um, any questions, Tiana? No, I'm good. Thank you. No problem.
right, I'll you drop. Wanna... I'll, I'll drop off. By the way, thank you all. Bye, Tiana. Bye, Alex. Bye, Michael. You, Michael. All right. Any other general questions about Harbor or recent developments? Things you want to share? No, I don't think so. Cool. What version are you using right now? Um, we're on 2.0 right now, but um, we're, we're looking to transition to 2.1 as soon as we can because it's got a lot of cool features we want to use. Okay, cool. Have you run into any problems or any feedback for 2.0? Um, I don't. I don't think so. I mean, we we did the migration from 1.10 to 2.0, and it was it was pretty seamless. It just worked. Great. And are you guys only hosting um, Docker images and Helm charts? Are you hosting any, anything else that you know the OCI capability? Um, yeah, we're not we're not using that extensively yet, but we want to. Cool. All right. Uh, yep, that's everything. If, we, if there's no other questions, um, see you next time. All right. Sounds good. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Bye bye.